brought to you by Sprite. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey, Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal. We welcome you to 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Toronto Raptors as they play against the Milwaukee Bucks at BMO Harris Bradley Center. And taking a look here at the Bucks, they are here. Last season, they got swept by this team. Four straight losses, something they haven't forgotten. It's an Eastern Conference battle here at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee as the Bucks look to work the home court to their advantage. And here it comes, the NBA on 2K Sports for myself, Kevin Martin, and my broadcast partner, Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Welcome, everyone. After this one game on the road, the Raptors will head back to Toronto. They're one of the most dangerous teams in the NBA right now. No question, they've won seven of their last eight. Hey, Kevin, they've got do it really early in the season which shows you exactly how much they've been able to get accomplished this year yeah it shows you the consistency that they've shown uh, pretty much throughout the year it's been a great run for the Clark right from day one uh, they'd like to keep it going here now we've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for this one so for Toronto right now Stoudemire out there with Patrick Patterson and it's Johnson in at the three slot. It's tipped. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Jason Kidd. What'd you find out, Doris? And he said a big factor in this game will be how well they're able to handle Kyle Lowry. He admitted being a fan of his game, saying he's a tough athletic guard who really competes. Defense, rebounding, attack the paint, he'll take it to you. You've got to be ready to match his motor and his aggressiveness. Kevin, are they up to it? And thank you, Doris. Hunter Williams against Lowry. And it's off the back rim. No good. On defense, Milwaukee. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last Boston. Their defense got absolutely destroyed in that game, guys. They weren't closing out on the perimeter shooters. They were allowing people to get into the paint, score from point blank range. Just an overall abysmal effort. Yeah, something was missing, no doubt about that. They let an opponent shoot a really high percentage, and that's got to be a concern going forward. The shot's good from Stoudemire. Three straight makes to start Jesus. this game, looking good. For Milwaukee, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Amari Stoudemire still an efficient score, attacking the rim. The problems have been at the defensive end of the floor, where last season he fouled four times more than he blocked a shot. Not a great ratio. So he's got to continue to work. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. And DeRozan kicks to Stoudemire. Can't get it to go. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Here's Honda Takumbo, wide open. Middleton can't get it to go. Great look, disappointing result. You know, most times he knocks that one down. That's good from Lowry on the assist by Stoudemire. Lowry's got five. How about this? They're shooting 80% so far. I know it's early, uh, but offensively, they look great. Here's Carter Williams. Makes it off the glass. And so here's Toronto. Three-point lead. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Well, Kevin, they constructed a, a perfect offensive game plan going into that game, and it was uh, quickly apparent how powerless the defense was to stop them. Powerless is a good way to put it, Steve. We're unlikely to see that many uncontested baskets again anytime soon. So it's the Bucks now, following Patrick Patterson's three-point attempt. Carter Williams with the Bucks. He's got seven. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Here's Patterson. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. What a huge play. With that reverse jam, the fans got a little extra show there. That one definitely had something you're right, extra on it. That was one of those three or four plays that you see every night in an NBA game that just that leaves you in awe. Here's Carter Williams. The Raptors getting the bucket. And Ilyasova kicks to Honda Takumba. The rebound by Johnson. Now you can see why the defense is willing to let him take that shot. That's really not his range. They grab their own miss. There's the bucket. Good. Well, some weak defensive coverage there, and I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that, giving such easy access to the rim. Honda Takumbo plays it up and banks it in. Honda 
Dekumbo has got his first points of the night. Beautiful cut to the hoop. He's getting anything he wants here already. Here's Patterson. Kicks it out to Johnson. Lowry passes to Johnson. And a miss there on the triple. The Bucks trail. Gives the dish to Monte Tacumbo. 151 left in the first. And Eliasova kicks to Monte Tacumbo. And he misses the go ahead basket. And poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. Into Stoudemire. Outside for Lowry. Here's Patterson. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Five points so far. Milwaukee is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And introduced last season here at the Bradley Center. New playing court. Giant M's on each half of the court. It mimics details of the old pop art court they played on back in the 70s and 80s. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Plumley is checked in for Chewie. Hanson comes in for Eliasova. And Dudley subbed in for Anjikumbo. Raptors leading by three. And last season with the new court, it was too slippery at first. Something to do with the net finish. The Bucks had to take a few weeks to resurface it with a gloss finish. And had it ready for the home opener. That is not an easy shot right there. He had to get it off over a taller defender. A little bit of a rainbow three, but like you said, it had to be with the size mismatch. Now here's Carter Williams. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Celtics in Boston. And guys, you'll love how the new court really impresses Milwaukee. Yeah, it's a great design, Kevin. Very unique in its appearance. And I hear Zaza Pachulia bought the old court to install in his basketball academy in the Republic of Georgia. So it's a yeah, really good story and no resurfacing needed as a result. And a chance here to check out how the Bucks ranked in the NBA last season. 11th in blocks, 17th in assist. As for three-point shooting, not a strong point for them. Top 20 in the league. They've got room for improvement in that area. Now here's Carter Williams. He's got nine. Shot from free throw range. Middleton can't get it to go. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. Yeah, and even though it's early, I mean, that's a great sign for them for the rest of the game. For three, Ross, shot is off. Bucks trail by four. Carter Williams kicks to Middleton. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Middleton's got his first points of the game. And here is Harris. Johnson goes in. A good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. The Raptors out in front. They're up by two.